Hey everyone, today we're gonna make pinch pot monster faces out of clay and they're gonna look something like this when they're finished. All the materials I'm going to be using for this project are listed in the description below. So we're gonna start with a ball of clay like this and before you roll it into a ball, you can take off a piece of it to use for your different face, facial features. You can also, anytime you can go and get extra clay, if you run out of clay, you can go and get extra. So with your chunk of clay, you're gonna roll it into a ball. You can roll it like this, get it nice and smooth. And if you need to just add a tiny bit of water, you can stick a finger in the water and tap it off because you just want a little bit of water to make a nice smooth ball. It doesn't have to be totally perfect. Once you have a reasonable round ball, you're gonna start kind of sticking your thumbs in the middle and rotating like that. If your clay starts to crack, you can add little bits of extra water to it like that. Now you're gonna to wanna to choose a top and a bottom. And so it doesn't just roll, you wanna kind of flatten it onto the surface like this. So it's not rolling. So see how I kind of spread out the bottom like that. I can go around with my finger and smooth out these edges. If I wanna add tiny bits of water, can help with that. Okay, next I'm gonna start thinking about what features I wanna to add to my Pinch Pop Monster face. I'm thinking eyeballs be a good idea. There's a couple different ways you can do eyeballs. If you wanna roll out a slab of clay and cut out your eyes, you can do it that way. So that's how I did mine right here. So I could start with kind of a flat bottom and make them round on top like that. I have an eyeball will fit on there. So before I do, I'm gonna get it a little bit wet and make it look nice. And I might also carve out some features of my eyeball. Maybe I'll do a circle. That. And then I can add a pupil inside. I take the end of my needle and kind of stick it in there like that. And next I'm gonna do a technique to attach clay. I'm gonna do something called score and slip. So I'm gonna push it on here and I'm gonna see where it makes a mark. And then I'm gonna score it with my needle. I'm gonna do kind of like a lot of little hashtags or like a checkerboard. Make that surface nice and rough and I'm creating these little hooks in the clay. I'm gonna do the same on this surface. And it's almost like Velcro the way that these tiny little hooks are going to attach to each other. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna take a little bit of water and I'm gonna add it to both surfaces. And then I'm going to gently and firmly attach it to there. And I can clean it up with my needle if I want to. Um, I can also use a paintbrush to kind of smooth out different surfaces. For my next eyeball, I'm gonna do a different eyeball example just to give you an idea of different things you can do. I'm gonna roll a small ball of clay. Now we never want our clay to be really any thicker than this because it takes a long time to dry and it could end up, if the clay is still wet when it goes inside the kiln, it could actually explode. So anytime you have clay you're sculpting with, you really don't want it to be any thicker than about this. So this is a good size for my eyeball. And maybe I wanna do something similar. I wanna do kind of um, an outline of the eye there. And then I wanna do a pupil in the center, nice and gently like that. And now I wanna attach it to here. So I gotta kind of flatten this a little bit and stick it on there. See where it makes a little tiny mark there. I can do my checkerboard, my hashtags, score it. I'm also gonna score it up right here. Add a 
tiny bit of water to both surfaces and attach. I like to add tongues to my monsters. You can also add feet and do different features. So in order to do that, I'm gonna roll out um, a little bit of clay right here. I want it to be about a quarter of an inch thick. So you can see it, not too thick, kind of thin, but not too thin. And if anytime you mess up, you can add water to your clay and squish it back together and re-roll it. So from this, I'm going to maybe do some, some wacky feet. They're gonna go underneath my monster creature. So, kind of be like that. And I'm going to score the bottom of it right here. Surface right here. A little bit of water. Could probably do that a bit better. I didn't really score it that much, so I'm gonna score it a little bit more and rough and then I'm going to attach after I add my feet I can shape them I can make little toe marks if I want cutting into the clay now I'm gonna cut out a tongue you make your tongue any shape you want. I'm just gonna make mine nice and simple and round. And a little bit longer than needed because I want it to kind of stick out. So it's gonna kind of be folded and then down I can make it curl up if I want. And then I'm gonna attach it in the back of the mouth. So I wanna figure out where it's gonna be attached. It's also gonna to touch on the bottom here. So I could probably score my clay right here. This is a very important step. If I don't do this, there's a good chance it'll fall off. So it's really important to take the time to score and slip your clay. Probably do a little in the back there too. Can I touch here? Whoops. Score that up real good. Okay, now I'm gonna add water in these two places. Attach my tongue, push it a little bit there, nice and secure. And I wanted my tongue to kind of go up in the air a little bit or be crooked just for fun. So you can play around with your tongue and shape it however you want. If you want to be really wild, you could uh, roll out some teeth, make some kind of pointed teeth like this, pointy or flat. You could also cut out flat teeth. If you wanted to do it this way, like big buck teeth. See, I just cut out a rectangle. So you could do rectangle teeth like that and you would have to score, you would score them to attach each piece. Because remember, if you don't do this, it's just gonna fall off. So it's really important. Make that surface nice and rough. Add a little bit of water and then secure it on there. So now I have this nice kind of buck tooth shape of my monster. You can do pointy teeth as well. You can do them however you want them. Probably add another tooth on there just to make it look balanced. Um, you can also do patterns on your tongue or maybe a line going down the middle. Always looks good. You make it crooked there. Now it's fun to add different features around the eyes. So if you wanted to do, and the, the face, if you wanted to do little miniature wings sticking out, you could just don't have them stick out too far because they will break off. So if you do wings, do them kind of small and not too big, like, you know, maybe this, this size, these are kind of like little bat wings. Um, another thing you could do is uh, unicorn horns or a series of spikes. You could do, um, you know, like four or five different spikes on the back and you're going to attach them in the same way you would need to score figure out where it's gonna stick on there. If you go like this, it'll kind of leave a mark and then you can tell where it is and then you can score it. And then you can score the little horns. 
You can shape your horns however you want. You can add a birthday hat, you can add a baseball cap, you can add wacky hair. Just be careful, anything you add is not too thin and it can't stick out too far, otherwise it will break off. So, in summary, consider adding these things to your monster. A tongue, buck teeth, pointy teeth, unicorn horn, multiple horns, bat wings, a birthday hat, a baseball cap, wacky hair, spikes, scales, feet, a short tail, and extra eyeballs. Cool monsters have lots of eyeballs. When you're all done with your pinch pop monster, um, you can do this yourself or you can get my help. You're gonna gently turn it over and you're going to write your name on the bottom of it so that we know it's yours. And then find um, the, wooden plat the wooden trays and gently put your pinch pot monster on top of the tray. The next thing I'd like you to do while you're cleaning up is notice all these little pieces I have. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some drips of water to them to re-moisturize them. That's really important. Do add moisture and then I'm gonna roll them together in a ball. If you have little tiny dry crumbs, don't go like this, because those crumbs, we just wanna throw them away. They're, they're too dry. But these nice wet pieces, they can put back inside the bag. If it's really dry, just throw it away. The next thing I want you to do is take your canvas like this with both hands and then walk across the room to the garbage and shake it out over the garbage. Then you can put it back and I'm just gonna pretend I did that. And then you can clean up your area and uh, work on another project. Be sure to stick around and check out the other totally amazing art tutorials I have on this channel, such as dragonfly paintings, treehouse designs, peacock paintings, beach house illustration, and much more. If you enjoyed watching today's video, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Please support all of this amazing art and creativity by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. <laughs> you might enjoy watching one of these super awesome videos next.